That is a great question. I'm very sensitive to elevated alcohol levels and I find it very distracting. So I really avoid um, those elevated alcohol levels. So I'm probably not the best person to ask that question to because I think um, I have a more narrow tolerance for that than, than most people and tend to ignore wines uh, that, that have those very high alcohol levels. Just I, I find them distracting. Is there a number you have for that? Is it how how do you how do you perceive alcohol in Pinot Noir? Well, the older I get, the less numbers seem to matter, and uh, that's not just because I, of ages. It's it's numbers of of measuring things, and um, but I would think that in general, you know, if you're pushing or exceeding fifteen percent, uh, you've lost me, uh, and there there will be exceptions to that. But it just seems that, that that's a kind of a, a point of no return uh, for me. How do you perceive alcohol in a glass of Pinot Noir? Generally, it's it's a burn, and um, it's a, it can be just on the aromas, or most importantly, gets me on the mouth and the retronasal, and just a, a feeling of warmth, and it distracts me from the uh, the nuances that ought to be there. Mm -hmm.